welcome to week six, the final week of my Down by the Sea blanket crochet along. I'm Eleonora from Coastal Crochet and all the details about this blanket can be found over on my website www.coastalcrochet.com. So this is the final week and we are doing the border. Quite a simple border, granny stitches to represent those lovely blankets that we might take down to the sea with us. Um, three rounds of granny stitches and then a final round of crab stitch that you can see here, also known as reverse double crochet. There's a separate video tutorial for this stitch. This tutorial is just for these rounds. They're very simple granny stitch rounds, but I just want to show you um, how to start them going round. Once we get going, they really are easy. So a quick tutorial that I hope you will find helpful. So make sure that you've got the right side of the blanket facing you and we're going to be begin along the, the top edge, the final row that we crocheted in week five. So with the right side facing, you'll see the final stitch that we crocheted in row 18 is this one here. It's quite clear to see. There it is. And we're going to join our yarn into the second stitch in from the right. So there's the first stitch. There is the second insert your hook into that stitch and join with yarn D. Make three chain, counts as the first treble, US double crochet, and then work two treble, US double crochet, into the same stitch. So that's our first little, little cluster of granny stitches. And now it's very, very simple going across this, this top edge. What we do is we miss two stitches, one, two, and then into the next stitch, we work three treble US double crochet. So miss two stitches and then three treble US double crochet into the next stitch. Two, three, and continue this until you get to the final stitch of this side. Miss two, three stitches in here. So I'm just coming to the end, missing two stitches and then three treble US double crochet into the next stitch. And basically now I've gone all the way across the top and now we have got to the last stitch. If you remember the last stitch will be that three turning chain that we made at the start of row 18 here. So we miss that final stitch, we don't crochet into that. We make two chain, this will count as our first corner chain space. And now we get ready to work along the rows um, to the side of all these rows going down um, the long edge of the blanket. And the key here is just to be consistent. There's no exact science. We need to anchor our groups of three treble along here. And between here and reaching the central square, so here is the, the big central square of our blanket, um, we will go consistently in the stitches along here. So just into these row ends, what we need to do is make sure that we have eight groups of three treble going along here. Um, and it's about being consistent. So wherever you anchor them going down this um, section, make sure that on the opposite side, so when you do them on the opposite side, um, you go into the same place um, to the side of the rows, just for neatness and consistency. So I'll show you how I do it. I begin by making three treble, um, three US double crochet into the side of row 18. So the final row we made in week five, that's where I will do my first group of three treble US double crochet. So that's the first group of treble going down these the sides of these rows until we get to that big central square. So that's one group. So there's seven more to do. And it's just about spacing them equally. So I'm now going to go into the side of this row here with three treble US double crochet. Just into the sides of those rows. And so now skipping along a bit further, I'm going to go into the side of this blue row with three treble US double crochet. One, two, and three and then I'm going to skip to probably here the center of these green rows here one 
two and three. So if you look back now, you can see they're pretty evenly spaced going down the sides of these rows. So now I will do one sort of where these two colours meet. Work three stitches into there. One, two, and three. And then probably here in the blue one again. One, two, and three. So if we look back now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's two more to do along here. So I will go do one here. One, two, and three. And then my final one here at the bottom to the side of the first rows that we began to work when extending from that central square. So there you go. There are my eight groups of three treble US double crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, going along the sides of these rows. And so now you should find yourself back at the central square. There's the corner chain space and here are the stitches along the one side. So miss the first stitch on the central square. Um, that's this one here and into the second stitch. So miss the first into the second, work your three treble US double crochet, one, two, and three. And now we're back into missing two stitches, one, two, and then three treble US double crochet into the next one. Two, and three, like so. So now looking back, you can see how the side is beginning to, to um, be formed and so carry on all the way along so I've just gone all the way across this side of the blanket and I'm now at the next set of rows going up and so again just like at the start that we did back here right at the start of this long side um, make sure that on these rows you also just match where you're putting those eight groups of three treble um, US double crochet stitches. So just continue now. There should be one stitch left at the end of this side. There it is. We're missing that last stitch and then going into the sides of these rows leading up to the other end of the blanket and work eight groups of three treble US double crochet into the sides of those rows. And then we'll be back at the top, go across and just keep consistently going round with these groups of three treble. And when you get to the top, remember to make two chain before slip stitching to the top of the beginning three chain that we made at the start of this round. And there we go. That's the first round of our border um, our first round of granny stitches, um, these groups of three treble US double crochet going all the way around with our two chain space corners. So there you go. So for round two, we have the wrong side facing and we're just basically making like a big granny square. We're going to join our yarn into the corner chain space, work three chain and then work two treble, two chain and then another three treble US double crochet stitches in there. And then we're just doing groups of three treble US double crochet stitch into these spaces between the groups of three, just like making a really big granny square. And here you can see the front now of that second round. I made that with the, the wrong side facing, um, but then make sure that in round Three, we again have the right side facing and what that does it just prevents the border from curling too much by alternating between the right side and then the wrong side it just helps to keep the border flat and so here you can see I'm working on round three just 
three treble US double crochet into each of these spaces between the groups of three treble. And here I'm coming up to a corner. So into the corner chain spaces, it is the three treble US double crochet followed by two chain and then another three treble and that's what we do in our corners it's just like making a really big granny square there we go you can see that corner there now and go all the way around and here we go here you can see all those three rounds of the granny stitches round one which we made with the right side facing round two which we made with the wrong side facing and here we've just done round three with the right side facing so three rounds of simple granny stitches and there you can see the corners where we do the three two chain and then another three so like a big granny square I've whizzed through this tutorial because they are such simple stitches um, but such a lovely um, end and border to our blankets so we do just have a crab stitch reverse double crochet US single crochet stitch to do to just finish the border and there's a separate tutorial for that but I hope that you found this tutorial for these first three rounds helpful thanks for watching